Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your Telvostro 5490 or what you actually can upgrade on it and of course we're gonna have a closer look on the components and obviously you're gonna see how you can open up this little laptop as well. You need a pretty standard Phillips screwdriver and you have to remove all the screws pointed there on the back panel. I'm using kind of a 57 in one. It's a great tool actually for other little jobs as well. It's not expensive and it, it is it is good tool now. I'm going to leave the link in the description if you are interested in one. Some screws on this laptop now on the back panel, they're different lengths. So keep them separate too. Remember where you took them out so you know where to put them back in. So you won't damage the laptop when you start uh, screwing them back. Once the screws are removed, um, you need a little plastic tool like that. If you don't have it, use your fingers or use something made out of the plastic. I don't recommend using anything metal like a knife or a screwdriver. Back panel comes off easy enough, so really your fingers probably would be enough for that job. Just a closer look now on the back panel. There's a few details there model number etc and all other bits there as well and inside of look of the panel as well just in case if you're looking for spare or just want to see how it looks like i don't know okay we go over some components on this laptop first that's your battery with the part number as well if you need to order new one or spare one That's your battery connection there, which we're going to disconnect later when we start upgrading this laptop. That's your Wi-Fi card. The serial or part number as well, if you do need one. That's your RAM under that. There's only one RAM slot, but good news with this laptop is there's 8 gigs on the board already, so and one upgradable slot, so... At the moment there's 8 gigs in it, in, in total this laptop at the moment has 16 gigs. That's your solid state drive, 256 gigabyte. We're gonna upgrade that later on to 1 terabyte, hopefully. That's your 2.5 inch hard drive bay. I'm actually surprised it's there, it's great. If you have spare drive or you want just more storage, I do recommend using it. That's your CPU fan. And CPU under that, of course. This laptop has Core i5 10th generation CPU. Your, your laptop could be with a bit of a different spec. Better CPU or worse CPU, I don't know. But th that's just the spec for this one. There's a bit of a closer look now on the components as well. That's your battery there. DC connection there is not soldered to motherboard, so it's handy to swap if you need it, if it's broken, they do break time to time. That's your RAM slot, RAM under that there. We're gonna have a closer look now in a minute anyway. That's your Wi-Fi card, of course, closer look as well here. That's your solid state drive, 256 gigs, as I said before. And that's your 2.5 inch hard drive bay. I'm gonna actually remove that and show you what's in. There's uh, actually ribbon in it and everything's ready to go. Just put the drive in and you have way more storage. That's your CPU under that, of course, as well. So it's great news. Lap laptop is upgradable at the moment. 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte of solid state drive. After upgrade, hopefully now one terabyte of hard uh, solid state drive and uh, 24 gigs of RAM in total. So I'm going to add 16 gigs of RAM and plus the 8 what's already on the board. So it's going to be 24 gigs in total. I'm just going to remove that 2.5 inch caddy there just to show you. Yeah, there's one more screw there actually holding that in place. Yep, this one there. So as I said before, if you have a additional extra drive lying around somewhere and you want to use it for storage, why not? It's there. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Just going to take it off now, show you and put it back in empty as it is. But it's up to yourself now with your laptop. You, maybe you want to upgrade that as well or add a additional storage. That's how this looks inside. It's a bit broken there, but no, no panic. That's your ribbon now connects it there and that's it yeah 
So not bad news actually, I'm happy with this laptop. Not too many newer laptops are upgradable, you'll be lucky if you can swap the solid state drive on these laptops, or newer ones now, so this is great actually. It's good buy, I suppose, they're cheap enough as well now, especially if you buy in second hand. Uh, I doubt you can get them new anymore anyway. Okay, I'm gonna put the screws back and we can start upgrading this laptop. And the first thing I'm gonna upgrade is RAM, obviously. But before upgrading, I do recommend disconnecting a battery just for safety that you wouldn't short anything on motherboard while removing uh, RAM or solid state drive. So just for yourself, maybe I left it connected there many times before nothing happened either. All good, but just, you know, it's probably better be safe than sorry, as they say. Okay, we're gonna just remove that eight gig of stick RAM there now. As you see, 3200 Hertz, 8 gigs. And we're gonna replace that with 16 gigabyte of RAM. I'm using integral RAM 16 gigs DDR4, 3200 Hertz. Great RAM. Same thing, I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you are interested in one. Just so much easier for you to buy one. And that's your solid state drive there. I'm gonna upgrade that to one terabyte Samsung drive. Great drives actually as well. Same thing, I'm gonna leave the link in the description for you. That's a closer look on the screw there. And a closer look on the SSD as well. And that's the new drive that's gonna go in. One terabyte as I said, good drives. You can get faster, better ones now, but this is good for this job anyway, so I do recommend them. Same thing, I'm gonna leave the link in the description if you're interested, go and get yourself one. And that's the closer look now. Only one thing I have to say now, when you're upgrading your solid state drive, uh, you will have to reinstall Windows on it again. So that's going to be additional 30 minutes, I suppose, plus probably another 30 minutes to update drivers and all that. But it's easy enough these days with Windows 11 anyway. And there's many, many tutorials available for that. So it's not a big job anymore. That's it. You can connect your battery back and your upgrading is done. Nice one. And we're going to boot into Windows now. In a second, I'm going to go over a few specs just for proof that uh, this RAM and solid state drive, everything works on this laptop. Just give me a second now. We're going to put the back panel back and uh, we're gonna put in the windows after that obviously I'm not gonna go through the all the installation pro progress here I'm just gonna go to desktop and show you this few specs of this laptop very briefly now I'm not gonna go over too much of detail there speed things up here a bit That is it. Just a second now. There we are. We're in Windows now. I'm just going to go to open up the Explorer on this PC. Right click. Go to Properties. As you see, Del Vostro 5490. 24 gigs of RAM in total now. So great news there. So it is upgradable. All good. I'm gonna go to device manager now as well and go over a few specs there as well. So just to show you the drive and a few other bits. Okay, go to this drive here. As you see, it's Samsung 970. Great CPU, of course. So all good, upgradable, great, good, fast laptop. If you liked the video, if it was helpful, do subscribe, press the thumbs up, and you know what? Have absolutely excellent life. Bye-bye.